What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Life Orb Politoed team that also features Mystic Water Palafin. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was made by Kanto Clark. Huge shout out to Kanto Clark. If you guys want to check out this team more in depth or want to go find the Poke Pace, link will be down to his channel down in the description below. But Palafin is one of those Pokemon, once it's been released into Generation 9, it has quickly become one of my favorite. It has a cool ability zero to hero, something that was never introduced in any Pokemon game, so it's able to switch forms when it swaps out. But speaking of Palafin, it hasn't been that strong on the rank ladder as recently, compared to like back in Season 1, Season 2, it was really used a lot and now you just don't see it that much, so super excited to be using it again today. But Politoed is going to be the first Pokemon that we talk about in today's team preview. This one is built a little bit different considering it is holding the Life Orb as its item. Drizzle, obviously, as his ability set the rain. Then it's got Helping Hand, Protect, Icy Wind for a bit more speed control, and then Muddy Water for a stab move. <clears throat> In our second slot, we got the one and only Palafin. Like I said, awesome Pokemon. Very, very strong when you switch it into its hero form. It's got Mystic Water to boost its water type damage. Then it's got Jet Punch for first turn priority, Protect, Wave Crash for big time damage, and Haze to change any stat changes that we're not really liking. We got Dragapult in our third slot with Clear Body and the Choice Band as its item. It's already rather fast, so having the Choice Band as item make it do, makes it do crazy damage at the same time. It's got Dragon Darts for Stab, U-Turn, Terra Blast, and Phantom Force for another stab move. In our fourth slot, we got Thunderous over here. Good support Pokemon with Prankster and the Mental Herb. Then it's got Leer for Defense Drops, Thunder Wave, Taunt, and Wild Bolt Storm. In our fifth slot is a Pokemon that we just used yesterday. It is going to be Defiant Black Glasses King Gambit. Great move set of Kaltak Cleave, Sword Dance to set up that plus two attack, protect, and sucker punch. In our final slot, we got Old Reliable over here. Good old Iron Hands with Cork Drive and the Assault Vest, normal move set of Fake Out, Heavy Slam, Drain Punch, and Wild Charge. Guys, you want to rent the scene for yourself? Rent the code is that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that regulation E ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Life Orb Politoed and Palafin Rain team. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a pretty standard regulation E team with Rillaboom, Shen Pao, Water Urshfu, and then they're also rocking out with Fluttermane, Tornadus, and Hisuian Arcanine. I think leading Palafin is going to be pretty good. We can try to hard swap it right off the rip and get going from there. I definitely want to bring Politoed in here, but more so as a back end Pokemon. So I'm going to lead Palafin. I'm also going to lead either Thunderous right here or maybe just Iron Hands. Iron Hands is a solid Pokemon. We can fake out turn one. We could uh we can also use like heavy slam if they decide to leave Fluttermane, stuff like that. So I actually really like Iron Hands. Are they gonna intimidate us? Maybe. But we do have King Gambit, who they might it might make them not bring intimidate Pokemon. So I like our lead right there. I definitely like our lead. We're gonna bring nice little Dragapult in the back end. And then last but not least, like I said, I want to bring Politoed. I like having Politoed here. Helping hand works wonders. I also got that Muddy Water. And it has Life Orb, so it's hitting rather hard. Also, it has Icy Wind. Nice good speed control move, which I love. Which I love. Plus, I want to set the rain if I have Palafin on the squad. It just makes it 10 times stronger. So we'll see who they want to lead here. It is going to end up being, hopefully not Arcanine. Cool. Urshifu and Tornadus. So Iron Hands comes out here alongside with Palafin. I think a perfect turn would just be to just protect or swap you into maybe you, right? I could swap into you. I could. Or I could just go into Politoed here because Politoed is a bit bulkier than, than most. Yeah, I'm going to go into Politoed here. And on top of this, I am just going to go nice little fake out turn one into Iron Hands or into you. Or I can just Wild Charge to be honest with you. I think I'm just gonna wild charge this turn. If I can hit this Urshfu with a with a wild charge here, that could be big time. If I could just get rid of this thing on the field, especially because we're setting rain for it. They might be going for rain dance regardless. We'll see. We'll see. So we're gonna set the rain on our own. He's just gonna go for a tailwind. Here. I'm curious to see what he goes for here, because he's in Terrasalize. He's just gonna go for a Surgeon Strikes and Dinger. We're able to soak that up. I know I set the rain for him. But I think swapping to Polito was our best bet. I didn't want to swap into uh, 
into Dragapult and just get teed off on that slot. So I don't mind this turn. I really don't mind this turn at all. I'm going to be able to wild charge here. Get off some nice damage. We don't KO, which kind of sucks. But we survived this turn, which is pretty nice for us. So I'm able to survive. I am just going to pop a nice little muddy water here to finish off you. And then on top of that, if I can, if I can get off another wild charge, I'm going to send it into the slot. So now we have two great back end Pokemon with Palafin and Dragapult. And we got some big time damage off of Urshifu. So he ends up withdrawing Urshifu here as well. That's cool. That's fine by me. That's definitely fine by me. And he's going to end up going into Rillaboom, which is... Mm, we don't really like that, right? We, we don't really like that. I'll tell you that much. We really don't like that. So out comes the Bleak Storm. It's probably going to give us a speed drop. It really doesn't matter. They have speed regardless. And Muddy Water is now going to get cooking. It's going to land. Beautiful. This stab and still nice damage with the Life Orb. We like it. We like it. So he's going to get back a little bit of HP. And now it's time to bring out the Dragon. Definitely time to bring out Dragon Ball. I could bring out you, but really, what are you going to do? You're really not going to do anything. We have to get rid of the... Uh, we're going to have to get rid of the... Uh, the Robin here. We have to make a play to get rid of the Robin. So I'm thinking of just terrestrializing him, right? I'm thinking of just terrestrializing you to a nice Steel type. I could go into a Phantom Force. I could go into Dragon Arts. I think going into Dragon Arts is going to be a little bit better for us because we can pick up a KO and at the same time get off some big time damage. But the reason I want to Terrasalize into Steel is because I do not want to take that much damage to a Bleak Wind Storm. But I think Terrasalizing into Steel is a pretty solid typing for us. So I'll take the Steel Tower here and we'll go from there. I might just Helping Hand Dragon Darts next turn. Because Palafin can work wonders as long as this Rillaboom's not on the field. So I'm going to protect. I'm going to say the Grassy Guy goes into the Polytoad slot. And now he goes for a fake out into the Polytoad slot. That works. That works fine. The Bleak Wind Storm comes out here. So this, so this is exactly why I threw that slice. I don't want to take too much damage here. I want to get off some nice turns with Dragon Bolt. It's still doing a decent amount of damage. Dragon Arts is now going to come out here. That's some nice damage onto Dragapult, and this should finish off Tornadus like it does. So like I said, we can't really do much until this Rillaboom is gone. We need this Rillaboom out of here. This Rillaboom has got to be gone. So now he has the option to throw Urshu back out here, which is definitely a possibility. This is a scary possibility, especially with speed on the field. And I think he's going to do that. And in that case, what do we do? Yeah, it is going to be Urshfu. That sucks, man. That does suck. Um, because a close combat KOs us. And how many turns are left in Tailwind? One, probably. Yeah, one. Um, do I just hard swap maybe in the Palafin here? Just to keep Dragapult? Because once Tailwind ends, we have a lot of speed cooking for us. Yeah, you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. We're just going to go for a nice Icy Wind here. And I'm going to swap Dragapult into Palafin because I know that the close combat's probably coming out here. And I can swap into Palafin and potentially eat up the shot. So I'll get the hard swap into Palafin into the hero form. And the grass guys can come out. Can you soak that? I knew you wouldn't, but I was kind of hoping. And Polytoad's going to die, which is no problem. I mean, I don't mind that too much. I don't mind too much. And there's the close combat, which you should be able to soak awesome so a solid swap for us um and now from here we definitely want to dragon darts because their tailwind's gone i know they have grassy glide and i could just protect if i want to but definitely dragon darts with the speed that we have for uh, dragon bolt this is not a bad this is not a bad battle it's not a bad battle so I want to see how many turns are left in terrain. He get, they got two turns left in terrain. So obviously, I could protect here. I could protect here. And I think I am just going to protect here. I'm just going to protect. And I can eventually maybe like jet punch the next turn, which wouldn't be bad for us. But maybe I should jet punch this turn because I think we want it one more turn. Hmm. We'll see. So protect comes out from the Palafin. They might have just, they might just read this. 
And you're going to go for an Aqua Jet, which we should be able to soak. Yeah, we do. Cool. And you're going to Grass Guide into that slot. Okay, so not bad. We keep our Dragapult on the field. I was hoping they wouldn't double down Dragapult. That could have been real bad. The Dragon Darts is now really cooking. Doing some nice damage all around. KO in you. Now, the real question is, can a Grassy Guide KO my Dragapult? But they still have one more Pokemon, which is tough. Do I just go for a Double Protect? I don't know if I should go for a Double Protect or go into a, a Dragon Darts Jet Punch here. Because this Robin is really doing me dirty. It's doing me so dirty. Shen Pal comes out here, and that pretty much does me in, right? Honestly, I think our best bet would just be going for Dragon Darts and at the same time jet punching this thing, hoping to KO it. Let me see Dragon Pulse speed, because if I can outspeed it and KO the Shen Pal, then the terrain's gone and we can maybe win this match. That's pretty much my my, my best bet, right? Because we know he's grass gliding into the Pal and we know this all day. Like that's just a fact. So as long as Shen Pao doesn't protect, you might be able to get a KO here, but he's just gonna sucker punch a KO us. And what you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? Yeah, I was hoping that one Dragon Arts and Jet Punch could KO in it. It actually might have. Let's see how much damage this Jet Punch would have done, because we should go first, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, I think that would have KO'd. I think that would have KO'd. So Rillaboom and the Terrain really coming in here and just doing us dirty. A lot of damage going out there. We did, could not waste out all the turns. We actually almost made that comeback, which would have been pretty cool. Second match coming at you guys, and that last one was just a warm-up. It was just a warm-up. So we're hopping into our second match, looking to grab ourselves a win. A Pokemon that we have to watch out for here is going to be Water Absorb Ogre Pot. We have two Water-type Pokemon, and I might not even bring any of them. I don't know. Should I bring any of them? Probably not. Probably not. I'm just going to... Lead Tornadas. I think we don't bring Palafin or Politoed here. I really just don't think we need them. I like them here. I wouldn't mind them here, but with Wellspring Ogre Pond, I just don't think it's a good play because both of them really only have water moves to actually do any type of damage. So I think just going into Tornadas turn one and probably King Gambit wouldn't be a bad turn one. What's your terror type? It's dark. Beautiful. I like the dark terror type on this thing. Just something that changes from steel, especially with two fire type Pokemon. So I'm going to go in with both of these guys, and I'm just going to bring Dragapult back end and Iron Hands in the back end. Pretty simple, pretty standard. Just got to watch out for that Wellspring Ogre Pond. So I like it. I like the team that we're, that we're doing here. I love Palafin. Palafin was rocking out in that last match, but dude, just having Rillaboom up against any main team is just such a big threat. It really is. It's just such a big threat. We couldn't really do much. It had first turn priority on, on us all day long. It was just doing insane amount of damage. So we were we were playing around that the whole game. But they end up leading these two. These two end up coming out here for the lead. And um I got pranks here, but what's your speed is your question? What is your speed, Thunders? You got mental here, which is pretty solid. Um 167. Do we try to taunt that uh Do we try to taunt you? Yeah, I'm going to try to taunt you, and I'm just going to go into a Kalta Cleave here. If I can, right? Probably going to Thrasilize, to be honest with you guys. Um, I don't think he has any moves. We might just Sword Stance here. That was a solid turn for us to Sword Stance. Yeah, I'll go to Sword Stance. I'm going to huck out a lovely little Sword Stance here. We're just going to end up withdrawing Gold to go. So, yeah, like I said, a solid turn for us to Sword Stance here. A lovely turn for us to switch in. He's going to swap into Iron Hands. It's not a big deal. And we get off a taunt. So we're out speeding, sir. Please show me this thing's not mental herb like us. It's just going for Icy Wind. So thank you for the Defiant Boost. I really appreciate you. I really do appreciate you. So I get the lovely Defiant Boost here. Um, Sword Sand's coming out here. Sword Stance out and about. What's your speed, King Gambit? Are you slower than... Yeah, you're going to be slower than Iron Hands now, which is a little bit of a problem, right? Definitely a little bit of a problem. And to be honest, I'm just going to hard swap into Iron Hands at this point and just protect the King Gambit. Because now that we're slower... I mean, I'm plus four in attack, which is wild. 
Now that we're slower, I'd rather just swap Thunders here. And get out Iron Hands, just so we can fake out and attack the Iron Hands next turn. Because really, I do not want to take a Dream Punch from the thing and lose my King Gambit. So, Protect's going to come out here from the Gambo. AC Wind's going to fly here as well. That's no big deal. If I had to guess, yeah, they're probably going for a Drain Punch. The Iron Hands Speed Shops, it's already slow in their straight punch. So now, I'm targeting right down that Iron Hands slot. I'm going right after that Iron Hands slot. Nice big Fake Out. A nice big Terror type here. And a Kowtow Cleave straight to this thing's mid. I know it's not very effective, but the damage output should be huge, right? It should be. It should be huge. It should be big. Big enough for a sucker punch to probably KO next turn. I'm plus four. It's stab. I'm terrestrializing as well. The damage output should be massive. It should be a big. It should be big damage output. I know how bulky Iron Hands is, especially on the defensive slot, but I would be very surprised if this doesn't do more than half damage. Super surprised. I'm plus four on attack. So out comes our terror type. Dark. Just for the big time attack boost. And we'll see how this one plays. Because I know Iron Hands doesn't have protect. I'm going to fake it out here. And he's just going for a bleak and sword. That's fine. Give me another speed drop. Drop my speed. Drop my speed. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Drop, drop King Gamma speed. Let's go. Plus, now we're plus six. Now we're plus six. Now there's, now there's no doubt in my mind that this thing's doing some damage here. No doubt in my mind that this thing's doing damage. Plus six King Gambit here. Get it on out my face. Not dealing with that. So now I can kind of just freely sucker punch, which is actually rather nice. It's really nice. He finally shakes off the taunt. No big deal. I still have two great back end Pokemon, and I think I'm just going to wild charge that to an honest down. That's so big. That's so big. That now plus six. It's up going into Golden Go. I think that's just a sucker punch play all day, right? Wild charge into you. Sucker punch into you. And we'll go from there. He's just going to end up terrestrializing. Trying to soak up this sucker punch. This sucker punch is doing some damage. I don't care what typing you are. It's doing damage. Just straight steal. That's fine. That'd be fine. It's doing some damage. Hopefully it KOs. Plus six. Stab. Sucker punch coming out here with the terror boost as well. Come on, man. That's too easy, man. That's way too easy. Don't defiant boost me plus six. Thinking that you can get away with it. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's just not happening. I, I, I wasn't allowing it. I wasn't allowing it. We double dodged the, uh, the Bleak Wind Storm and Wild Charge can come out here and finish off you. I just wasn't allowing that to happen. They Defiant boosted me to plus four and I was just like, it's time to swap into Iron Hands and get rid of their Iron Hands. And then they Defiant uh, boosted me to plus six and I was just like, nah, dude. No opponent should be able to get away with that. You cannot Defiant boost these things. Not even once. Not even once. They're, when they're plus two on attack, they're doing a ridiculous amount of damage. An absurd amount of damage. So it's like, come on, man. What are you doing? I'm just going to drop a Sucker Punch. I'm going to drop a Drain Punch. I think they cancel battle. They do, and we pick up a nice little sweep in match number two. Final match on its way for today's video. We've been going up against very similar teams. Top tier meta squads all over the rank ladder right now. They got Urshfu. They got Iron Hands. They're also rocking out with Golden Go. They got Amoongus. And then Arcanine and Tordatus. So I like Palafin. I like Politoed here. I'm definitely going to lead the Palafin. Try to swap it out and get rocking with that Pokemon. So that is going to be one of my leads. My second lead is probably going to be... Nice little Tornadus here, right? I don't mind just paralyzing a bunch of Pokemon. I don't mind it. I really don't. So I'm going to go into both of them. I'm going to bring Iron Hands to back end because I really like Iron Hands. And then Polythoon. I also like Dragapult here too. I do also like Dragapult. Maybe we should swap you for Dragapult. And I kind of like that a little bit better. Especially Dragapult back end. Really, really good with its moveset. Really fast. Has a choice band. Hitting really hard left and right. Can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong with the Dragon Balls. Especially Choice Band Dragon Ball. I feel like that's the only time we see it in this uh in this format right now. It's Choice Band Dragon Ball. You see a Dragon Ball, it's always Choice Band. I have not seen a Dragon Ball that's not Choice Band. But they end up going into these two. And Okay, I mean they can spawn me. They can do a lot here. Um We're gonna swap into the Dragon Ball here. And I mean, I'm going to try to actually just 
Thunder Wave you. Moongus. Throw a nice little Thunder Wave onto you. Paralyze this boy. Stop trying to deal with it, but they're definitely faking it. What are they faking out? What are they faking out? Maybe the Palafin slot? That'd be cool. No. Obviously, they're faking out the slot. That's why I wish I kind of had Protect here. And they probably put me to sleep here as well. So annoying. Yo, you know what, Amoongus? You're the worst. I'm going to just say it. I don't like you. I don't like you. Haven't used you in a while, and I'm glad I haven't used you in a while. So annoying. I, I can't stand it. Cannot I simply cannot stand it. So from here, we're just going to look to just start throwing Dragon Arts left and right, right? Probably your best bet. I know we're slumped. Mad annoying. I'm just taunting this thing. Oh, yeah, dude. Just, I, I, I misclicked. I misclicked. I really just misclicked there. Oh, cool. He swapped it. Okay, that's fine. But still, the taunt does absolutely nothing. The taunt does absolutely nothing. We're going to taunt a Pokemon that has all attack and moves. Beautiful. Lovely. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. I'm able to survive that, which I like. Um, you can't Aqua Jet me. I'm gonna stick with the Dragon Arts here, and I'm just gonna try to Thunder Wave Burst you down. Slow this thing down. Try to waste out these sleep turns as well. It connects, cool. So we get off a little bit of value with our Thunders. I would have rather taunted the Urshfu than the. Uh, oh, that's that that that's that's a good paralyze. I would have rather taunted the Urshfu than the. Uh, than the Iron Hands because Urshfu at least usually rocks protect. So with that thing rocking protect, it uh, it can't use it. But we just taunted that thing. We'll see who he goes into from here. Whoever he goes into, I'm just gonna try to paralyze. It's gonna be a Moongus. You gonna protect the Moongus? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to taunt it. He's definitely protecting it. I'm not even gonna lie. So I'm just gonna stick with Dragon Arts, and I'm gonna go for a taunt. Might as well, right? Yeah, like we knew he was protecting it all day, but it don't really matter. Don't really matter. We had to try for it. We had to try for the taunt. We had to try for the taunt there. The Aqua Jets can come out here. That's no big deal. That's fine because Dragon Darts. Well, Dragon Pulse should wake up, but Dragon Darts should both go towards this Urge from here. There, that a boy. Back from his nap. Full power, ready to go. Dragon Darts doing some big time damage. One more Dragon Arts should KO that, so I actually really like that. And I think I should go into Polytone here. It's our Icy Wind in the way. I'm trying to get off as much damage as I can. Because now we can set the rain. We can have our power fun in the back end. Kind of should go from there. I like it. So Dragon Arts gonna fly again. He could Aqua Jet me. Definitely a possibility. I'm just gonna Icy Wind away. Hopefully he's just paralyzed here. He's probably just Aqua Jetting. Yep, there's the Aqua Jet. He wanted to get off a little bit of value before he went out. I'm soaking that up pretty well. The Dragon Dart's gonna come across here. Do some nice damage onto Moogus. Should finish off Urshfu. We had Icy Wind, if not. And now, what are you going for, Moogus? Who are you putting to sleep? You, you, I know you're putting somebody to sleep. You're gonna be mad annoying. But Icy Wind cooking here. How much damage are we doing? That's some nice damage. We like that damage. But I already know what you're doing. You're putting my Dragon Pulse to sleep. And you got a very... <laughs> Hate it, hate it, hate it. You're the, like, this is what you do? The Moongus, man, dude. Hate this, but I dislike this Pokemon so much. I've versed it so many times where all that they used was Sport. So many times. So now my Dragapult is back asleep. And now they're gonna go into Iron of the Hands. Iron Hands comes out here. Um, we're just gonna go for Dragon Darts, and I'm just gonna protect this turn. I'm gonna waste out a turn of sleep here. Kind of just go from there. I could end up Thrasilize and if I would like. And I might... I might want to do that. I might want to do that. Because I think Wild Charge coming out here. Potential Fake Out. If you go for Fake Out Spore, I'm going to be very upset. Okay, they're not. Cool. So we're wasting out some Zs here. And Wild Charge coming in. Cool. We block it. Awesome. Amoongus, what are you doing here? Okay, you're just going to pump up the Iron Hands. That's fine. Aren't you already full? No, pretty much. Pretty much. So from here, I'm gonna now Dragon Darts here. I think I might Terrastalize. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Terrastalize, and... I am... Just going to pop an Icy Wind here, because I want to get rid of Moogus more than anything. Actually, no. We're gonna pop a Muddy Water. Muddy Water time. It be Muddy Water time. 
Arg. It be muddy water time. That's how I should start saying it. Yarg. <laughs> Act like a pirate. Yarg. It be muddy water time. So, we're trying to get the muddy waters here. Trying to do some nice damage. We got the rain boost right now. He's also trash-slicing. Don't be telling me you're going in the grass here. Why are you trash-slicing him? Into water. Come on, man. Amoongus really just countered me all this match. I'm still asleep. I'm not going to be able to do a lot of damage to that thing. Muddy Water comes out here. And of course, the Pokemon that I want to dodge it. Muddy Water still doing a decent amount of damage onto Amoongus. We got an Accuracy Drop, which... I like that. I like that. Wild Charge coming into Politoed. We soak it. He's going to take some recoil, which we love. And Amoongus going for us. Come on, man. Like, what do you guys want me to do? I'm out here. I'm trying, all right? I'm trying. I'm trying. It's just... Oh, dude, it's brutal. It's more than brutal. It is... It's more than brutal. It is so brutal. I just don't know what to do. I just simply do not know what to do. I get rid of Mo Amoongus. We have a shot here. I kind of want to get my power out here with the rain going, you know? But there goes the withdrawal of Amoongus. Regenerator. So this is back up to full HP. And Tornadus comes out here. Oh, hello. Can we wake up? No, we don't wake up. We just sleep all day long. My Pokemon are just on melatonin every five seconds. Oh, my lord. It's like they're in comas right now. Train Fudge comes out here. They get back more HP. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't mind losing, but when I just get spored 50% of the time, it's so brutal. It's so brutal. It's more than brutal. It's not even 50% of the time. It's 100% of the time. Thank you, Dragon Pole, for waking up. I appreciate you. The Dragon Pole, back from a second nap of the day. Ripping some darts. And Bleak Windstorm going to come out here and finish off a poly thing. And Dragon Pole's dead here, too. Yeah, dude, this game's wraps. It's all over. It's all over. I don't know one way I can win this. Because I can tell you exactly what's going to happen. Actually, I can't. Because I don't think... Oh, wait. You went for Bolt Switch. So you keep my boy alive for another turn. I actually could keep us in this game. That could keep us in this game. So I was going to say, he should KO the Dragon Pole there with like a Wild Charge. And of course the rain's going. I really need the rain. Never mind. Just scratch anything else about the site. I really need the ring. I did really need the ring. So now my boy's here. Now obviously I'm ripping uh, dragon darts. I'm just gonna jet punch into the rounds. Nice damage there. Of course you have rock helmet. Dragon darts should finish off the tornadoes. Do some nice damage to a move this year. And Amoongus, yo. Who you put to sleep? I am top 2,000 right now. I am top 2,000. And this is what I'm playing up against. Brutal. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. So brutal. I am top 2,000 right now in master tier and I get spored five times Five I think it's five still more than two is is, is a lot More than two is a significant amount If this is a spore This is probably a spore right No, it's pom pom You know what? We're going to try to at least just KO this Amoongus. I'm, I'm not having it. I know we lose this match because we cannot KO the Iron Hands here. But I'm going to at least try to KO this Amoongus here. Lucky. You lucky. You lucky. But yeah, this thing was KO me regardless. Even if I went after him, got a crit. He was surviving it. Man. One and two for today's video. Really upset at this third match.
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. One and two losing record for today's video, but absolutely love this team. Palafin and Palitoad were awesome. Same thing with King Gambit and the other three Pokemon on this team. Absolutely love them so much, except for third and final match, which is brutal it was just brutal i wish i could have brought you guys a better battle but hopefully you guys still did enjoy today's video if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure you leave a like on it and if you're not subscribed to the channel click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread this positive day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody